Afternoon everyone and welcome to another Round of Grounds episode. So today we're back at Glanford Park for a part two special on Scunthorpe United. Uh, I was here last week, last Saturday, covering the Buxton game. Obviously club and fans didn't know about the future, obviously with the previous owner um, saying he wasn't going to put any more funds into the club, which really left them in a real mess. Um, they didn't know if... Uh, today was going to even happen, to be honest. Um, but the the rumours circulated on social media, uh, talks of a takeover, and um, I'm absolutely buzzing uh, that that it's happened. Uh, local businesswoman Mich Michelle Arnes, I believe her name is, has saved the club, um, agreed a takeover, and Scunthorpe United and their fans now have a future. Um, so I'm here for for today to film a part two. I couldn't miss this to be honest. Obviously, emotions were running high last week. It was a, for me a football fan. So I'm not a Scunthorpe fan, but the fans were, you could see it were emotional day. So today I'm here to back to film, um, see how they're all feeling. Obviously, it's going to be such a different atmosphere today. Bit of a buzz back around Glanford Park. Obviously, they're not secured the future here yet, but I'm sure that's just round the corner. Uh, but I couldn't miss this one. Uh, started today's vlog at the old ground, uh, the old show ground, uh, Scumfort United's old home. Um, obviously moved from there in 1988 to, to Glanford Park. Um, so I had to pay that a visit, obviously. Uh, I love going to these old grounds, whether they're still standing or not. Obviously, it's a Sainsbury's now, but they've, uh, they've marked it with a nice memorial. Um, obviously showing that the ground was was there once uh, obviously memories for for scumfort fans there but also memories for scumfort fans here um so yeah i'm here to film it and just take in the atmosphere and just just celebrate really and uh, there's a walk planned um before and so i'm gonna hopefully take part in that and just just uh enjoy the atmosphere because it's certainly a different uh, feeling around Ganford Park I'm sure today so yeah if you're new round here smash the like button for us give us a subscribe let's get round Glanford Park and just celebrate with these fans we'll see you soon guys So we're back with Gareth, Hello. a week on. How are we feeling, mate? Um, a lot happier than last week. Yeah, yeah, definitely. No, it's um, good. It's a good buzz about the place. Just everyone's come together. The club's been taken over. Yeah. And, you know... I could see with a grin on your face. Yeah. No, it's, you've got to be happy about it. Yeah. You know, before we were just like wondering if we're going to have a club still. blah de blah de blah And here we are. Take over. Yeah. Happy days. Everyone's happy. Everyone's coming together. Um, Brackley team coach is just coming in. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah. So, but no, it's, it's it's just good to be around right now. Yeah, I, I was uh, side at pitch at full time, and I was just 
a lot of motion. I, I, yeah. I thought that were it for you guys, I'll yeah. be honest. Well, I think I think everyone did. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? It was just an emotional time and just when you're speaking with people and seeing pictures of people and just tears in their eyes and what you just yeah. think, you know, next you just you were just thinking at the time next week could be the last time we're having yeah. here we, we might have a club. Yeah. And then it's been a whirlwind week, yeah, and yeah. here we are. You're gonna still, enjoy it today, and uh, yeah, we say we still might not be here, you know, the next game, but I know it's been worked on. Yeah, getting the ground back secured and what have you. So uh, yeah, just yeah, gotta, yeah. you know, keep going, keep believing, yeah. and let, the, let those that are dealing with it deal That's with it. it yeah. So. Back Brian, to it. Brian, Brian. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's uh, obviously weeks massive. So we're obviously yeah, yeah. now with with the ground, uh, hopefully future can be. Uh, yeah. Can be here well, at Exactly, it needs to be here. It needs yeah. to be here. You know, we don't want to be anywhere else. It's, yeah, yeah. it's got to be here. You know, it's home. Yeah, that's it. You know, it's, yeah. it's memories. Like yeah, there's, of course, there's memories. Yeah. Loads of memories. Yeah. So, you know, hopefully, it gets secured and we come down again and keep smiling. Yeah, because the score prediction today, Gareth. <laughs> now, I was down at their their place when they beat us yeah. like, comprehensively. <sighs> I'm gonna go one all. One all, yeah. Four in me. <laughs> one all, yeah. One all. Today's just about you guys, the fans. And yeah, just, of course it is. Just... Yeah, you know, I, of course I hope we win, but I yeah. do think one all. Yeah. So give this guy a subscribe, Iron Army class content. Cheers, and mate. Top guy. Enjoy. Thank Cheers, you. Mate. So we're back with David, Iron Trust member. Just to explain your role. Really. I'm just part of the Iron Trust. I've been there for ten years. I'm on the board of a trust and we obviously got Tony as chairman, John as secretary, Jake who runs the IT side of it, yeah. then five more members of us a trust yeah. board. And we talked last week, obviously different seven days made absolutely massive, how, how are you feeling? Well last week we said what a difference seven days can make, it yeah. certainly has, I mean I've had quiet words with Simon today, Simon Elliott who's one of the consortium that's taken off, Michelle Harkness, I've known Michelle for the last 20 years, I think, off the top of my head, where she yeah. was here at the club on the commercial side, running the commercial department. Yeah. And good luck to her, Simon, and the rest of the board that's taking over, yeah. and the new members of the board that's joining. Yeah. Hopefully, this is a move forward now, and we can unite the club. Yeah, did you, did you foresee it happening so quick? Everything happened so fast. I knew things was happening, we heard things was happening, yeah. but to happen, everything happened so fast within 24 hours yeah. is great and now we know negotiations are on the way to actually hopefully be able to play at Glanford Park on our next yeah. fixture but that's still a long way away again yeah. that's only negotiations at this moment in time yeah this is stage one complete and that's that's the yeah. main thing now you've secured your future you were emotional last week so how are you feeling I can I'm see great. you're quite emotional still <laughs> I'm great. I've had a week off this week. I've actually I cleared off on Sunday. I thought, right, football's taken yeah. over for last month. I'm going away. I've been down in Kent for the week, just unwinding, relaxing and getting ready for today. And I've yeah. decided I'm going to join everybody on this little march up yeah. to the ground. We'll see, we're here. It's oh, we're coming down now. Now film over the other side of the road. Yeah, so they're now, just walking them, down now. So what I'll do is I'll pop your uh, details in the description yeah. and we'll join no this walk. No problems. This Cheers. is all right.
Just we, uh, Chris, come for United fan, who just took part in the walk. How's it feel to be uh, obviously a week on everything uh, that's gone off this week? Well, it's great, but it's just been a crazy week. It's yeah, been sort of a real roller coaster. Yeah, and uh, the fact that we've got our club back. Yeah, thanks to the local consortium, where everybody's really delighted, as you can tell. Yeah. So yeah, it's really nice. To be, I just hope this is not the last game here. No, obviously, I think the talks are on place uh, from so, what yeah. I'm reading. So fingers crossed. I hope so, mate. Uh, hope it's so. good to see all the fans together. And it really, is. Uh, it is. Yeah, because there's definitely been a bit of sort of yeah you know, in, in fighting a little bit. But, yeah. Uh, yeah, it's great today. Really yeah. nice. Really impressive. And now we can go and enjoy a game yeah. in Bamford Park. Yeah. And let's hope uh, your guys get sorted out yeah. as well. Uh, hopefully, mate. Yeah. yeah. Well, it's yeah. us at South End. Yeah. Your turn next, yeah, mate. Yeah. Thank you very much, mate. Cheers. Cheers. So we Andy, a very special Scumfort United fan. So uh, how long has it took you to get, to get from uh, South Korea today? Uh, on hours. Yeah. yeah it's uh, over 14 hours from South Korea to London. Yeah, and why why the Scumfort United link? Why do you support them? Uh, because I love this club so much yeah. since 2015. Yeah. And at the time I started to support the Iron and it is my second time to sponsor. Yeah. And uh, I it's a really attractive football club. Yeah. So that's why I'm so proud to support to sponsor United and I love this club so much. Yeah, so it's great to be back here today. Uh, yes, yeah, I yeah. really I had enjoyed it a lot before my yeah. last time. And uh, I hope so. I enjoy it this time as well. Yeah, I'm sure you will. Uh Oh, God, I'm sorry. 
so I'll give it no particular order. First of all, we'll go with Roger Ryman. What's your names, boys? Uh, Bradley. Caden. Jake Underwood. Jake Fudge. Seth Thomas. How much do you love Scunny? Uh, oh, 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 fruit, 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 yeah. fruit. You come here every week, yeah? Yeah, every, yeah. every Your week. Your dads bring you? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 Well, my granddad, um, he takes him as well. Yeah, yeah. I get, I get, I get, I get transported by my brother. <laughs> <laughs> Who's your favourite Scunny song then? Fresh in air. Oh, yeah. Go on. <laughs> Gun shy. What's the score going to be? 2-0. 2-0. 3-2 Scunny. 3-2 Scunny. 3-2. No, no, no. 12,000 gold nails Scunny. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Cheers, boys. Come on.
Thank you to Josh Fox of the Lillian Hour. Just with Maz, come yeah. for United fan. How's yeah. it feel of obviously out this week? Yeah, good. Yeah. Good. Uh, I thought we were done really. Yeah, I did. I yeah. sat up there and uh, yeah. I thought that was it, but nice feeling. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I think I think we'll be well I'm hoping we'll be alright. Yeah, yeah. Crowd's here today. Yeah. But Real atmosphere, isn't I know, it? but we never do well when we get a big crowd. No, no. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm hoping to catch a goal. Yeah, well I'm hoping to, I yeah. know. <laughs> Now, and obviously but, next to secure your future at Glanford Park, yeah, you think that can yeah, get so done? Yeah, it's good news. Yeah, yeah. So, I appreciate you know, time. Give us a score prediction. Yes. Uh, uh, I'm going to go 2-0 even though it's half-time. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I know it's a bit rich, but I think, I think if we get a goal, we'll get two. Yeah. Well, Atmosphere behind them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Appreciate your time. And Cheers, all mate. the best to Chef Wednesday. Yeah, well. thank you very much. All right.
that ends the uh, match day vlog. Scunthorpe United 1 0 win over Brackley Town to cap an amazing week uh, here at Scunthorpe United. Obviously, the future se secure going forward. Um, they've got a club to look forward to. Um, games like this, uh, an atmosphere like this, over 5,000 here today, absolutely amazing. Um, love being part of them, pitch side. So, massive thank you to Scunthorpe United for this today, uh, accommodating me, pitch side, to get the atmosphere behind the goal. Uh, fans were absolutely brilliant. Uh, it's just nice to see that they can look forward to, to games here. Well, hopefully at Glanford Park, but just, just supporting the team, uh, whether it be here or wherever. Um, fingers crossed that the next step <coughs> now for Scunthorpe United is to to play their home games here at uh, Glanford Park. Uh, what, a, what a goal to, to cap the win. 1-0 win, free kick, top corner, and the fans go absolutely wild. Um, but like I say, it wasn't about the result today. It was about these fans getting behind a team and just, just capping a, a week to celebrate uh, history and uh, going forward to, to support their club. Um, obviously, part two of this vlog last week were totally different. This week, I can uh, come down and uh, finish it off uh, with this vlog. So if you like this vlog, smash the like button for us, give us a subscribe, and we'll see you on our next one. Blanford Park, everyone. Love that. Thanks for watching, everyone.